All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Potato Head Theater. Today's story comes to us from Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 through 18. This part of the real Christmas story focuses on a character that you may not have ever really heard about. He's not talked about much when the Christmas story is told and retold. His name is King Herod. Hey everybody, it's me, Herod, and it's all about me, because I am awesome. King Herod was the king of Judea, where many of the Jewish people lived. You know why I'm awesome? Because I'm the king. And when the king is there, the king is awesome. By this time, he was old and very sick. He was not a very good king. Who you calling old, bucko? He was always looking out for himself and didn't treat his people very fairly. Rather than being a king that ruled because the people respected and honored him, he was a king that ruled over his people by making them afraid of him. You will fear me! <laughs> One day, King Herod got a visit from some wise men who had come from a long distance. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts, we travel so far. Herod, we have come from so very far away. We have come to see you. The wise men arrived in Jerusalem and went straight to the palace of Herod. They asked him, where is the new king of the Jews? Herod, I know you're the king, but I want to know, where's the new king? The new king? What are you talking about the new king? There's no new king. Do you know anything about this? Uh, no. We saw his star as it rose in the east, and we have come to worship him. We saw the star, we followed it from the east. See it up there? It's beautiful. King Herod was confused. After all, he was the king of the Jewish people. Who could these wise men be talking about? What in the world are they talking about? Herod asked some of his priests and philosophers, and they gave him the answer. Priest, tell me, what are these guys talking about? Um, well, it, it says, it says in the law of the prophets that, that there will be a king born in Bethlehem, and he will come to all of us to be the savior of the world, and he'll be the new king of the Jews. What? Why am I just now hearing about this? The new king these wise men were talking about was the Messiah, the one whom God was sending to save the world from their sins. King Herod was angry. He was not excited at all about the possibility of losing his throne to this new baby. This kingdom is mine! Mine, 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 mine! Oh, scary. So King Herod made a selfish plan. Oh. I know what to do. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Herod told the wise men, go to Bethlehem, then come back and tell me where the new king is staying. I want to worship him also. Okay, <laughs> wise men, here's what I need you to do. I want you to go to Bethlehem and find the king, whoever he is, and then I want you to come back because I'm gonna worship him. The truth is, King Herod had no intention of worshiping Jesus. Herod was hoping the wise men would come tell him where to find Jesus so that Herod could send his soldiers to kill this newborn king of the Jews. Hey, you know what? I'm not actually gonna worship him. I'm gonna kill him. It's gonna be awesome! Herod selfishly wanted to hold on to the power for himself. He didn't care a thing about Jesus. All he cared about was himself. It's all about me, it's all about I, it's all about number one. The wise men left Herod and traveled until they arrived at the home where Jesus was staying in Bethlehem. Oh, isn't Jesus just so beautiful? He's just a cute little baby. Yeah, I brought the gifts. Yeah, they're gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Be quiet, Junior. Oh man, he ruined it. Here's your gift. Yeah, uh, gold, frankincense, and myrrh is not really a gift for a baby, but... Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. After they had presented their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh to Jesus, they decided to return home without telling Herod where Jesus was staying. 
This made Herod very angry. Sir, I got some bad news. The wise men, they went a different way. What? Nobody but nobody betrays me. So Herod ordered his soldiers to go to Bethlehem and kill every baby boy that was under two years old. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to Bethlehem and find all the babies two and under and kill them. Yes, sir. Whatever you want. It's kind of mean and not too comfortable with this, but whatever you say. But God spoke to Joseph and Mary and warned them to leave town before the soldiers ever arrived. Joseph! Mary, you must leave now before Herod comes and gets your baby. Jesus was safe and sound away from the selfish King Herod. Well, I'm sure glad we got that gold frankincense and myrrh. That'll keep us safe when we go to Egypt. All right, guys, thank you for joining us on another episode of Potato Head Theater. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.